Do you know about the importance of sodium in the human body? Let's tell you. Sodium is one of the body's electrolytes, which are minerals that the body needs in relatively large amounts. Electrolytes carry an electric charge when dissolved in body fluids, such as blood. Most of the body's sodium may be in the blood and fluid around cells. The body obtains sodium through food and drink, and loses it primarily in sweat and urine. Healthy kidneys maintain a consistent level of sodium in the body by adjusting the amount excreted in the urine. When sodium consumption and loss are not in balance, the total amount of sodium in the body is affected. Sodium is an essential electrolyte that helps maintain the balance of water in and around your cells. Sodium helps the body keep fluids in a reasonable balance. It's critical for proper muscle and nerve function. It also helps maintain stable blood pressure levels. Sodium is dissolved in the blood and plays a crucial role in maintaining blood pressure. Sodium attracts and holds water, so the sodium in the blood helps keep the liquid portion of the blood. On the other hand, if you consume too much sodium, your body may hold on to extra water, increasing the volume of your blood. Since your blood vessels cannot expand to accommodate this increased blood volume, your blood pressure will rise. High blood pressure is a risk factor for many diseases, including heart problems and stroke. Both muscles and nerves require electrical currents to function correctly. Muscle and nerve cells generate these electrical currents by controlling the flow of electrically charged molecules, including sodium. For muscle cells, these electrical currents stimulate the contraction of the muscle. Nerves, on the other hand, need an electrical activity to communicate with other nerves. Cells use molecular pumps to keep sodium levels outside the cell high. When an electrical current is needed, cells can allow the positively charged sodium ions into the cell, generating a positive electrical current. Insufficient sodium in your blood is also known as hyponatremia. It occurs when water and sodium are out of balance. In other words, there's either too much water or not enough sodium in your blood. Your sodium levels may get too low if your body loses too much water and electrolytes. Hyponatremia may also be a symptom of certain medical conditions. Too little sodium can lead to hyponatremia and signs of dizziness, confusion, muscle twitches, and seizures. Too much sodium, also known as hypernatremia, can make you lethargic or restless. Hypernatremia may also cause increased deep tendon reflexes, muscle spasticity, and seizures. If we consistently consume lots of sodium-laden food, blood pressure stays elevated. It means the heart and vessels must work harder. Extra stress can weaken vessels and cause vessel injury, leading to atherosclerosis and kidney disease. Too much sodium consumption can increase blood pressure and cause the body to hold on to fluid. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is a significant risk factor for heart attack, stroke, and other cardiovascular problems. Excess fluid can cause swelling in the legs and even more severe problems, such as congestive heart failure, in people with poor heart function. So, it's better to avoid salty foods for the sake of our health. We hope you are learning something new every day from our videos.